What's up, everybody? It's Afro DJ Mac here with another free Ableton Live Pack for you. And this time, it's a Max for Live Patch called the Quantize Mapper. Um, I made this one with Ableton certified trainer Loudon Stearns. Got to talking to him a little bit. He's very fluent in Max programming, something I know nothing about. And he asked me if there was anything I'd like to have for Max for Live. And I said, I would love to be, have some control over this record quantization. Um, the APC40 over here has a button to turn it on and off, but nothing to control what the quantization is. Um, and in his infinite wisdom, Loudon also did a global quantization, so he's got um, control over this here too, which determines when your clips will be launched. Now, I've got my uh, launch pad here set up to show you how this works. I just got a metronome going across here just to keep time. And I've mapped out some of these controls here. So this is just changing our record quantization. This turns it off right here. Um, and this changes our, um, you know, global quantization. So I'll just show you how I've been using this. Um, you know, sometimes you're playing live and you want to, like, put a beat up real quick. Um, this thing makes it really easy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to launch this empty MIDI clip here. Make sure we have MIDI overdub on. And I got it set to quarter notes, so I'm just going to play a kick. Whoop. Now you notice I did not play that well at all, but the quantization sets it to nice quarter notes. So now that I have that, what I might do is switch to eighth notes and add some hi-hats in. Now, again, note my crummy playing, yet the tight quantization. So I'm going to switch this to 16th notes now to add a little extra in there. Maybe some 32nd notes. Okay, I'll go back to quarter notes and I'll throw my snare. Oops, I keep doing that. Just like that, I've created a beat without really having to play too well. Um, and it's really nice to be able to just switch those quantization settings. Um, the other one he's got here is the global quantize. So normally that defaults to one bar, and that tends to be what I usually keep it at. But I'll show you a time where that might be useful to change. So I got this beat I just made, right? And I'll have you know, these clips are just set to legato mode. So that means whenever I switch them, they'll pick up exactly where in the clip I left off. So right now it operates on normal time because I've got my one bar setting here on the quantization. But now if I switch this to say, we'll go to quarter notes, I can switch quicker, you know? Now I can throw in some drum variations right here. And uh, you know, I can even do faster than that. And I could go back to my regular one bar quantization. Really, really, really handy device. Um, big thanks to Loudon for making this. Um, like I said, he really did all the work here. I just had an idea and he ran with it. Um, so check out Loudon's stuff. He's, you probably know him if you're following any sort of Ableton Live uh, tutorials and stuff because he's the man right on top of that stuff. So check him out. Hope you guys enjoy this patch. Um, it really makes performing live um, very easy and fun. So check it out. Enjoy. <laughs> 